Yesterday, David Cameron said we need less passive tolerance and much more muscular liberalism to defeat extremism. Doesn't Britain pride itself on being tolerant? Our first big question, should we tolerate the intolerant? Well, this Islamist who burnt poppies on Armistice Day last year says David Cameron is directly attacking the word of God. 50 million quid for Fernando Torres, 38 million for Andy Carroll. Football threw money around this week. In this, the age of austerity. Our next big question, has Premier League football lost touch with reality? Alex Brummer of the Daily Mail says this is the economics of the madhouse. Now, some girls now behave very badly, from Lady Amelia Spencer's alleged assault of a man on crutches to the jailing last week of a former public school girl for a homophobic killing. Our last big question, it's been asked before by academics, has feminism bred violent women? Uh, we're in York, live from the Manor Church of England School with an excellent local audience and sitting in the extremely comfortable seats for you this morning. We have got the Mail on Sunday columnist Peter Hitchens, uh, the philosopher and theologian Connor Cunningham, and the politics professor and founder of the Muslim Women's Network, Baroness Afshar. <laughs> Right, freedom of speech, freedom of worship, democracy, the rule of law, equal rights, regardless of race, sex or sexuality. David Cameron says this is what defines us as a society. To belong here is to believe these things. So, what happens when those values clash? Should we tolerate the intolerant? He's basically trying to root out bigotry here, Peter Hitchens. We've got plenty of homegrown bigots, though, haven't we? Oh, we have plenty of homegrown bigots, but I, I, I just take exception to a number of things that he says. The idea of muscular liberalism, for instance, it's, it's like rigid jelly or an angry, an angry whelk. It, 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 it's just something that doesn't happen. Liberalism is by its nature not muscular. And the other thing is he seems to define Britishness as a form of political correctness. You, 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 can't, you can't live here un, unless you sign up to equality and diversity, rather than you can't live here unless you accept that the Christian religion is, 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 our, is our prime source of morality and law. But on the basics... Which seem to me to be a much better basis. On the basics, we can sign up to, like, equality by race, equality by sexuality, equality by gender, a belief in democracy, or should we tolerate those who don't believe any, any well, of those Toleration things? and equality are two different things. Toleration, apart from anything else, implies disapproval. I tolerate you. I don't mm. like what you do. I tolerate you because I'm a civilised person mm. who's prepared to share my society with you, even mm. though I don't like you. So it's, it's not the same thing. I can't know. One man's uh, intolerance is another's deeply held belief. We know that from this programme. Absolutely, but I think the very possibility of being liberal, the very possibility of holding any belief, has to be the, the, the thing that grounds it. And that means that there are certain forms of belief which destroy that, which we cannot tolerate. Like? Well, uh, fascism. Uh, all manner of sort of reductive philosophy. What is called Islamism, for example? Well, certain elements, certain strains of certain interpretations, yeah, absolutely. When you say so not tolerate, tolerate, when you say not tolerate, do you mean make illegal? Prevent well, them from speaking, ban, ban their organisations? Yes, absolutely. You, so you, 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 but you I would say the same about Christians. I would say the same about Christians. I would say the same about... I think if you... But freedom of speech, where does that come in? But, but you have to... If the thing that you're saying is actually undermining the form of... the notion of speech itself, you know, if you're... If you're saying, for example, say you're a fascist and you go, well, Jews aren't, aren't really people, right? You're undermining an entire group of people and reducing <coughs> them to the inhuman. It's, it, it's, it's sort of, it's self-refuting. Well, Baroness Usher, let me put something else, if I may, that David, David Cameron <laughs> said, which is really interesting in this speech. And he's not the first leading politician to express these sentiments. I mean, he's gone further with this phrase, muscular and, uh, and aggressive, but it could have been a speech by Tony Blair or David Blunkett or John Reid. It's been endorsed by David Blunkett, for example. Uh, and he said, um, when a white person holds objectionable views, racism, for example, we rightly condemn them. But when equally unacceptable views or practices have come from someone who isn't white, we've been too cautious, frankly, even fearful to stand <laughs> up to them. Do you think there is any <coughs> validity in that? I think that, that I, this is an argument that I did have with David Blunkett when he started talking about commu community cohesion. Mm. I think, of course, we have to counter injustice wherever we see it. Mm -hmm. What worries me is the assumption that it's only Muslims who have practices that go against them. <laughs> <It's only laughs> 
<laughs> Piglets come in all shapes and sizes and well, creeds exactly. and credos. And this is the thing. To yeah. define a whole people by their faith, mm -hmm. the idea that, you know, as an Iranian, I can't celebrate Nowruz, mm. which dates back 2,500 years, just because I'm a Muslim, is absolutely crazy. Just as is the idea that because I'm a Muslim, I'm an extremist. We need to get out of these labels. Uh, sorry, can I just add to that? And indeed, one of the major fundamentalisms at work in British culture today is atheist fundamentalism, <laughs> not simply <laughs> religious fundamentalism. Yeah. Yeah. Because atheist fundamentalism is even more dangerous to some degree because it actually denies the existence of a person. Well, you're going to make that illegal, or what? I mean, what are you doing? I, no. <laughs> I don't want to make it illegal. Well, let's speak, I mean, let's, let's, let, let's speak to um, uh, Abu Rea, who's here from Muslims Against Crusades, formerly Islam for UK, which was banned. That's not correct, no. No, you, you, what's not correct? That was formerly Islam for UK. Were you ever in that? No. OK, were, were you our, in... Our organisation is called... Al Were you in Al Muhajirun? Our organisation is called Muslims Against Crusades. All right, well, uh, Islam for UK and Al Muhajirun were both banned. So, so you know, as a government yeah, would have it, okay. so bad they banned them twice, frankly. And where, did the freedom, where did the freedom go there? Yeah, where did the freedom exactly. go? That's so your question. It's, it's oxymoron here. Where's you're your freedom, about freedom to burn poppies? Is that what you're saying? Uh, Islamically, it's allowed for me to burn poppies or for any number of... The highlight of the issue is more bigger thing. Uh, we understand that the war against Islam and Muslims, David Cameron is the two-headed snake in charge of the crusade against Islam and Muslims mm. in Iraq and Afghanistan. Islam does not allow uh, you to me, disrespect let, let other let people. Me Absolutely not. Well, can I just but also, I think, also disagrees with uh, Abu, is there, there, is a, there, is a, there is a rider here. There is a rider. No, most Muslims in this country think you are an utter embarrassment. Why, but, why is but, that? But, but, well, because we call for the Sharia. Yes. We call for a better way of life, a superior way of life. Mm -hmm. Then the, the Kogmaya we face here today, we have recession. We have colleagues of David Cameron's stealing all the money, money. they have gardeners on, on Look, second page. You can have your own way of life. We have, we have a superior way of life. Wait a minute. But no, Sasha, uh, the, 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 this is what this speech is all about. L uh, are let, other let Muslims doing enough to condemn people like of him? Of course they are. Of course. I mean, this is the problem. That we do have our own debate. And I am perfectly willing to have a debate with you on Quranic base. I teach Islamic law, so I know well, what I should, I'm talking I should, about. I should, I should think that we should debate with people on our level. This is someone obviously clearly not practicing Islam. She says she's a Muslim, but she's obviously uh, very... Uh, I'm oxymoron. sorry, you are not... She's not covered or anything like that. Excuse the basic me. fundamentals of Islam... Islam is not anyway, a going back to the, going back to the well, You don't believe in democracy, right? Oh, clearly not. I'm a Muslim. Right, Excuse right. Okay, right. Well, no, it's a long Excuse ahead me. Islam, right, right, Varas, if I may, Connor, you, you, at the beginning you said we have to be wary of people who have views like this, stoning women, stoning homosexual stoning adulterous what should we do about people like our friend here I think we should give I'm not your friend. free free uh, sponsorship to go to university and study theology I think we should listen to them very agent. carefully I think we should listen to them very carefully we need to know this is what they think yeah. If we suppress them, if we say you're banned, yeah. we won't find out. But they're if, right if, on the fringe, but oh, they are what... They, this is then what, then they, they will remain on the fringe if we find out what it is that they think. Islam is an enormously powerful political project, you, which would change this country irrevocably if it you would, became... You would think... If it became, you would think, second, you would think we're on the fringe. No, let me say something. Hang on a second, let me finish. You think we're on the fringe, we're not on the fringe. It's an enormously powerful political project which would change this country irrevocably if it became the majority religion. But we're not trying to change You will keep interrupting your Muslims. Of course they are. <laughs> Islam is a, is a proselytizing religion which believes the whole world should be Muslim. And they would like this country to be Muslim. If we want to find out, of course you would. If you want to find out, if you want to find out what Python? they think, let them speak, and then you right, can discover you want to like them. I will let you speak, and I will come back to you in one second. That, that but point, I think it's an, on that, that point, point. Don't worry. We're not on the fringe. Hold, hold the, that the thought. You believe you have the truth. religion in this country. Even your show said that English women who are embracing Islam in their hundreds. So therefore, you can't say on the fringe. Right. Mohammed from the Muslim Public Affairs Committee. What about this accusation that extremist views and most people think that uh, Abu's views are right on the edge, right, really extreme, and many people, Muslims, find what he is saying utterly offensive? What about this accusation that Muslim communities are not doing enough to condemn people like him? Is there, well, to be honest, who agree? Well, he says that because they agree with him. No, Muslim yeah, community is not doing enough. Absolutely not true. Um, to be honest, a classic case in point is. Uh, some time ago in Luton, when Al Muhajirun were visiting uh, Luton, a city, um, all the Muslims came out onto the streets to tell them that they, they were not welcome on our streets. They don't represent the Muslim view. They don't represent the Muslim view. That's right. right. And David Cameron seems to think that's 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 not articulated <coughs> enough. I mean, David Cameron is another story altogether. Uh, <laughs> I would, 
would accuse... <laughs> I mean, I would accuse David Cameron, in his own words, of passive tolerance. Uh, you know, his speech came on a day when the EDL, you know, an extreme... English Defence League. Yeah, yeah. an extreme far-right uh, threat that is threatening and it poses a, a great danger to everybody in this country. You know, they, they're speaking... Are oh, they not a, a fringe as well? I mean, who poses the greatest... They certainly are, but... Well, who they... poses the greatest danger? Our, uh, our friend here, Abu, or the EDL, for example, or are they equal? See, freedom of speech is, uh, you know, a, a detailed thing. You've, you've got to look at the, the, the full thing in detail. I mean, you've got one, one case where you can hear a person's views. It is another thing to go out, let them to go out onto the streets and cause criminal damage to actually, in, you know, incite racial hatred, mm. religious mm. hatred, and <laughs> fear. So, uh, Alex Plummer, what do you think? We have to, I mean, if we didn't tolerate, if we stopped tolerating the intolerant, we'd lose half our guests on this program. <laughs> this the, I think you're absolutely right. I think a great characteristic of British society down the, down the centuries has its been its willingness to accept people for what they are. And so that tolerance is incredibly important. But um, our friend here says that, that, that at the fringe, or at, he's not at the extreme, he's not at the fringe, but the... What I worry about, this is an intelligent man, we can tell from the way he articulates he, what he thinks. However, what I worry about is there are much less intelligent Islamic followers, Muslims in this country who listen to what he says and are led down a, a path of extremism which could cause tremendous trouble. And indeed, um, the, victims, the victims of the 7-7 bombers, the victims of 9-11, they're the people I fear for, the families of those people who've been killed because of that extreme view. And members of these groups have, have expressed I, support the, for those yeah, terrorists, uh, yeah. And the idea that the British government should be supporting or providing finance to groups, well, he Muslim, Islamic groups, which filter down into some of this extreme area is absolutely worrying. I think David Cameron was absolutely L right to say that finance should be cut off. Okay. I think, well, well, one second, Mohammed. You uh, haven't had any our, money, obviously. Of course. But, our organisation does not work for the government and does not require any no, money. There's uh, a surprise. We, we, need, we need the youth to join our side anyway. But what I say to you, you too support the terrorists inside Iraq and Afghanistan. You support the pirates that are with you. I do. Yeah, how, how, you do you you how do you know who I support? So why, why are you against us when we paraded again, when the parade came to Luton or in Barking that the Muslims came out? Why are you against and that? Why, and, yeah. and, and who, says, and who defines them as terrorists? Anyway. The question that we all uh, should appreciate is that who lays down the boundaries of intolerant and tolerant? Yes. Surely, is it, the per is it, is it man, weak, limited, I needy, or is it almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and the earth? But it's certainly he not I'm, I'm intolerant. I'm intolerant to promiscuity. Yes. I'm intolerant to alcohol. Homosexuality. To the homosexuality. <laughs> adultery. <laughs> the pirates of Israel. I'm a, uh, I'm a, all, all the soldiers that are killing Muslims. I'm intolerant to all of that. Nakedness. The way people dress and all that stuff. Uh, obviously, if you, if you come out in York naked, then obviously I'm intolerant towards that. Mm. You, you need, they need to get their clothes you know, back from what their house. Is, what, who gives you the right yeah. to He's got every tell right. me? Why, why can't I, why can't I'm sorry, to Where tell me as freedom a Muslim. Where did the freedom of speech go there? No. Well, give, her, give, her, her, give the baroness a little bit of freedom Let of speech. Just, who gives you the right to tell me whether I am a good Muslim or not? Because of your eyes. You have no right to do that. You have no Quranic right to do that. It's quite cl clear by the teaching of the Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that we judge from their parent and the fundamentals of Islam you need to stick by. God you, does you can not judge by appearances. You, 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 Come on. I'm sorry to say you you're not know, the main you issue. Dress the main up. issue is you that can the dress rule up that's going to address that. Anthony, Peter, one second. Anthony, uh, writer, um, how relaxed should we be? Should we should we exert some muscular liberalism on Abu here? I don't mean. <laughs>